Uh, hey, somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is the last day in this conference year. And, you know, I like to have for a, couple, for a lot of reasons, but one reason is we get to start the year all over again in the middle of the year. <laughs> and that's good because we already started it over in January 1st, 2014. Now we get to do it again. So if you didn't make one resolution, you got another. Amen? Amen. So I thank God for that. So um, this is the end of this conference year. And God be praised and God be good for all the saints that have been faithful this year. Amen? Amen. So give yourselves a hand clap. Please give yourselves a praise. Because you have been a wonderful congregation. Union County is a great congregation. And this is a great church. If anybody else tells you different, I'm telling you they are lying and the truth can't be in. Because this is a great church. And I'm talking to their faith. Because a great church is made up of great people. And you look next to you, you got a great person sitting next to you. Turn to your neighbor and say you're great. And don't turn around and say you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> now you sit next to somebody great, and great people make great churches. Amen. That doesn't mean we're perfect. Amen. That doesn't mean no we we're perfect because none of us are perfect. But we are great because we're under the spirit of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who called us together. Only Jesus can call us together. I tell you, some of us wouldn't know each other unless it's been for Jesus Christ calling us together. Amen. I wouldn't know some of you unless it's been for the Lord. Amen. So I mean, we, we're a great family in heaven. So I'm glad that we're all under our Father God. And we're all going to just move up high. And this year, um, as we go into this annual conference, I just ask you to be in prayer with the bishop, with the elders, with all the pastors, all the delegates, all the leaders, and all the lay folk that will be attending the conference this year. Amen? Amen. And you know, if you get time, and you know, some of you, we just need to make some time. Just come on up to the best. And you know, just, you know, worship, you know, a night of this music on every night. Because we're going to be there all week long. Most of you know what a new conference is and what it does. So it's a time to uh, fellowship, time to rejoice, time to see people that you hadn't seen before. So it's like a big old family reunion. So just come on out and, you know, just praise God's name. Amen? Amen. Because this is always a wonderful time of the year. And, and um, right now we're going to get ready for our offering. And our offering is to be the blessed spot. Oh, wait a minute. Next Sunday Oh, thank you. Next Sunday service will be at 9 o'clock a.m. Okay, can everybody say 9 o'clock a.m.? 9 o'clock a.m. No matter how much time you get, somebody will come after that. <laughs> and the door will be locked. <laughs> but nevertheless, next, next Sunday service will be at 9 o'clock a.m. Amen? Yes. And it's going to be, and, um, and Reverend John Clean will be preaching. Now look, if y'all want to get out of the conference, go get them to start saying Because he's not never going to be out there. going to give you a full concert. But anyway, he's going to be preaching. And he's always a good fun guy to be around, to be with. So he, he will be he will be the um, preacher. And um, the students will be taking charge of the service. So next Sunday service is at 9 o'clock a.m. And of course, the annual conference service starts at 10. We'll, if you leave here and go there, you'll still be able to make it over in plenty of time. Because we'll be there for a little bit. Amen? All right, okay, now we're ready for the offering. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we're ready for our offering. And the offering is to be the blessed Father and the life of our church because it gives us the opportunity to bless our church and to bless our community through our time and through our home. Amen? Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to give to you. And as we begin to you, Lord, we give this seed sown in fertile soil that it will take root in the hundredfold ground, Lord. And as we give, we give because we love you, Father. Because you first of all love us by giving us the gift of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So as we give back our love, gifts, and our time, Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.
Thank mm -hmm. you.